Hey guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag. TR Tony here. Hope you're having a really great day wherever you are. Um, now this video might be a little bit on the basic side and forgive me for those who've had classic cars for many a year and know this inside out, but it was a learning point that I had when we first picked up, um, in actual fact my stepson's uh, MGB GT, um, actually how to start a classic car. And this may sound really, really basic. It's the same for my Triumph Stag as well. And uh, I just thought I'd share this with you. There is a bit of a technique to get things going. And um, very, very simply, I'll talk you through. But if you don't know, you don't know. So it uh, might be useful just to, to see what it is. So over to the car, let's go in and have a look. And I'll talk you through how to start it up and what to listen for as much as anything as a clue and a cue to turn that old ignition lock when you're ready <laughs> and fire up the beast. In our case, a V8. Lovely. <laughs> so this is a beautiful carmine red and biscuit interior Mark II Stag 1974 that we've been looking after for a friend during lockdown. Soon to go back to him very shortly and it's been a privilege to uh, to see and to drive. And um, yeah, here we go. We're just going to dive in the car now and show you how to start it. So I'm approaching the car and um, actually it's quite good because compared to Ari's MGB GT being six foot two I actually fit quite well into a stag which is a relief and uh, great to see. Um, normally start the car with about half an inch of choke, choke lever pulled out. You've got to release the steering wheel, obviously give it a waggle and um, make sure your keys are kind of turned in the lock as you do that just to release the steering wheel. And then you've got to wait for your tick 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 of the fuel pump behind you which you'll hear behind you on your right hand side. Before then, you turn the key and squeeze the accelerator at the same time. There you can see the um, choke being half out and that shows up on the circular dial on the dash there. And I think you can hear the uh, exquisite V8 burble on this particular stag is excellent. It's got the stainless steel big bore exhausts and it doesn't half make a difference compared to uh, my red UES 591S stag. So when you're finished, um, push in, turn it off, and out it comes, and the lock uh, re-engages with the car again. So jobs are good, and there you go. Nicely done, and uh, hope that clarifies a few things. Okay guys, so um, just a very basic overview on how to start a, a classic car. As I say, this uh, technique does apply to many different types of classic cars, so if you haven't got a Triumph Stag, don't worry. The principles of what we just talked through um, absolutely apply. Just uh, as, you, as you get your key in, waggle your steering wheel, make sure you free up your lock, then you're ready to uh, kind of crank and, and turn it over. As you see the ignition coming on, wait for the tick, 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 tick in the back, which is more than likely the fuel pump um, just getting up to pressure. If you try and start it too early, you won't get the fuel feed. So that's what you're waiting for. As you hear that stop, um, then you can turn fire up, press the accelerator a little bit, make sure obviously you're out of gear and uh, you should get uh, get some success. Maybe with a little bit of choke as well, just to get things going. But uh, there you go, that's it. Good stuff. Okay, well, if you've liked what you've seen, please feel free to share the uh, classics dream with us on Ari the Stag. Uh, we are uh, always interested in others, uh, other classic cars of all creeds. So please feel to join us and uh, share with us your thoughts and experiences. Uh, yes, we are Triumph Stag, but we also, uh, you know, uh, love all other classic uh, kind of cars as well. So that's got to be a good thing. And uh, yeah, if you'd like to, please feel free to subscribe and share with anybody that you may know and uh, go online and also get an Ari the Stag badge of honour to go on your car as well be doing us all a favour and uh, we can share the classic dream together as well. Good stuff. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, and we'll see you online on Harry the Stag very soon. Cheers for now. All the best. Bye.